Hi guys and welcome to your daily tower reading for Friday the 12th of August 2022. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to use the Radiant Rider Waite deck for today's reading. Let's see what these cards have to say about Friday and what energy you'll be working with. Also on this date we have a full moon in Aquarius. I've made a separate video on that so if you're interested in the kind of energy that full moon brings up have a look at that video. I go into quite a lot of detail but for this reading I want to see what the cards have to say about this day and what the tarot's take on things is, basically. So first we've got the High Priestess. Okay, so listen to the moon's energy. We'll give you a lot of answers. So tap into your intuition and make sure that you create some time to sit back and to listen. Next, the Ten of Wands in reverse. Ten of Wands, when it's this way around, it means you've got way too much going on and um, try and let go and to, to minimize the burden a bit. Here, it's in reverse. So it's saying that by listening, some sort of new passion appears in your life that's completely independent of everything else and that inspires you and makes you feel lighter and gives you a new direction to move into. So you're able to discover a new interest or a new purpose, a new direction in life. And finally, it's temperance. Again, time to move on, to detox, to create some balance in your life, and then to find that this path to enlightenment has been revealed to you. So similar to what I said about this card, that by making yourself less busy and trying to find some sort of in, inner balance, inner equilibrium, where it's like, okay, this is where I'm at, this is the present moment, I don't need to do anything. I don't need to acquire anything. It's okay to just be and to take a breath. That gives you the kind of emotional and mental space to hear this message that comes in by the High Priestess. That gives you very specific knowledge in, in the sense that it says, hey, pursue this. It will be of major interest. It will make your life more fulfilling, richer, and it's your personal chapter it's an important personal chapter that leads to your specific version of enlightenment, whatever that may be. Okay, so the High Priestess is the second card in the Major Arcana. She's sitting between these two pillars here, so she's beyond good and evil. It's got this veil here with all the pomegranates. So the physical world is separate to the spiritual world, and she is sitting right on the cusp between that partition between the two worlds. But for her, it's super easy. She just pulls back this this um, veil and she can see what the higher realms are trying to tell her. She's got these antennas here. She finds it very easy to connect with the higher realms. So whenever there's a question, all she needs to do is ask and she gets the answer that she needs. And because she has this great connection, she never needs to be afraid of the unknown because she knows she's loved and she's in good hands, basically. So on this day, you're able to tap in to that same vibration that feeling of comfort that okay universe i'm afraid or i can't handle this situation anymore please help me please guide me and you know sometimes that that sense of ease that washes over you like grace or light or whatever it may be so try and do that because one it provides you with a lot of comfort and two it gives you specific answers as to what to do next and these two cards are saying that the steps you take in future as a, as, a, as a result of this kind of contemplation or meditation, it's very, very important and a significant part of your life purpose. So the Ten of Wands then, Wands is fire. That is um, a masculine element that says, what kind of life are you going to build for yourself? And this guy is interested in absolutely everything, which is great usually, but he's so interested in things that he creates a bunch of problems because he's trying to do too much at once and he gets very little done. So he's closer than a lot of people because all he needs to do is edit a bit and choose one or two things that he's interested in and then he can really run with it and build something fab. With it being in reverse, the one thing that you find very easy today is to shrug off all this extra burden and to reveal your own inner flame and fire. The motivation, the, thing that, the things that interest you at the moment are very clear and easy to identify. So if it's work or moving or a new relationship or learning something, just allow yourself to say, this is what my system needs right now. So I'm gonna allow myself to be led in that direction or to move in that direction. 
this kind of natural rhythm or flow of life. And then we get here, we get to the Temperance card, also a major Arcana card, so another key thing, which is where you're on this journey and you realize that you've been through a lot. You've learned, you've grown, you've taken control, sometimes you've surrendered, you've healed, you've suffered, all of these things, but you're still striving to get somewhere. And here you realize that ultimately, the more you bend yourself, the more the outside world will bend in return. And here it's like you're bending a kaleidoscope and things kind of click together to create this new path that you hadn't seen before. So a new opportunity, a new exit, a new strategy, a new way forward presents itself and you hadn't seen it before. And to me, you may disagree with this, okay? But to me, daffodils represent Easter. And Easter with me is rebirth and resurrection and transformation and hope. It's like the phoenix rising from the ashes. And that's what I get with you here during this period, that you don't need to generate any fire or heat that's there naturally. All you need to do is listen and to sit back and to kind of open your spiritual ears. You'll get a message that says, pursue this one thing that you care about. Here's the way to do it. And that it presents a major rebirth for you, an opportunity to do something totally new in your life. So, you know, if you're 20 or 40 or 60 or 80 and you're at a crossroads or you're at a position of, there's, there's transition in your life. Should I move or should I do a different job or should I reinvent myself or what is it that I want ultimately? This is the day for people who are in transition. We've got the patron saint here of um, people who are making changes in their life and it's really giving the answers in a very easy to digest and easily accessible way so please say universe what is it that you want me to do next i'm certainly listening here if you've got any good ideas let me have them and you'll be given something very specific number wise we've got 10 and 2 is 12 and 14 is um 26 isn't it 14 and 2 is 16 and 10 is 26 yeah 2 and 6 is 8 and 8 in numerology is strength and power so you have the power to um quieten to to kind of set good boundaries and to quiet things down a little bit in your life and because of that this inner fire is revealed you get a real answer which allows you to pursue a path that's crystal clear and very, very beneficial in your life. It's like, uh, yeah, not just if you felt kind of um, aimless or something, but if you felt like down and out and if you felt like, oh, I have to reinvent myself again. This is an amazing day to rise again from the ashes. It's amazing. So I hope you have a great day here. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, um, scroll down a little bit till you get to a button that says book your reading. Click on that to order your reading with me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.